Young master, your body, your clown color. <laughs> oh, I can't understand what he's trying to say, young master. If it's about your current state, I assure you that we are aware of it. I know it seems off topic, but have you been to any of the hot springs yet? They're pretty juvenile. Maybe a soak would even help the young master here. By what? Jove, you're right. Those I... toads in the lobby handed me a pamphlet about the restorative powers of the spring of purification. It's near the entrance. Quickly, let's get the young master's shredded bloody carcass into the spring of purification. <laughs> if my calculations are correct, he'll be flying and wreaking havoc again in no time. What calculations? Um... So, like, this is actual death. This is, this is just actual death. I can't believe the series has gone full circle. We beat up Bowser Jr. with, with, with scissors wet, like, at the first part of Snicker Star. And now, he's dead by the same thing. Also, I just want to point out this fucking statue. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's actually great. <laughs> Come on, toss him in. Just throw him, you don't need to wait for me. You do not need my permission, Kamek. Now, now, young master, be sure to soak your entire body. <laughs> they, they, the water, like, oh, finally what? takes effect now yeah. that he's all torn up. And he starts dissolving. Well, what can I say? He's dead. No. We probably should have just went back. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. Hey, it's all again. Perhaps I should resend my one star online reveal of Shang Gray Spa. It wasn't me. I didn't crash the castle this time. I just came here to help Dad, but the next thing I knew, I was cut up into pieces. And what's he doing here? Are we about to fight? Cause I'm always ready. Let's go. I'm skipping this. No, no, we're, we're skipping this. We're skipping oh, this. God. <laughs> Wait, young master, we have more important things to do than battle Mario for the millionth time. If you want to help your dad, you could help help us enter his castle. You require the use of your clown car. Can we get to fight someone? I haven't fought anyone in over an hour. Let's hurry up and do this. Where the fuck has he even been? Hmm. Mm. Oh man, he's dumb things busted. Unfortunately for Bowser Jr., Nintendo broke his legs and so he, he only has to be in the clown car. Oh, I think New Super Mario Brothers series introduced the clown car and ever since we've rarely seen him not in it. He's always used machines a bunch. I'll admit that. He, like he used the magic. What? What were we doing? Don't tell me the answers just use all the other springs. It's like, I, I, what the hell? Darn. What's with the blood? It's too what's hot. wrong with Mario's face? Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, the hammers don't put you in battle. All right. Oh, yeah, right. They don't do, yeah, they don't do that in this series. Like, in good. the series now. Which is good. This was also this was also a thing that I had a habit of doing in Sticker Star, getting hit by it on purpose, and using the invincibility to not to pretty much avoid enemies. Like if there was an enemy blocking the way. What? Clown car. Car ball. His folds. They're nah. Can't Mario just hit him with a hammer? That fixes everything. <laughs> Hey, it fixes everything up in the other time. Hey, Olivia's dead. Or at least when it comes to fold. This is a good thing. I mean, like, unfold it didn't hurt. Oh my god. I don't fucking care about the stamps. I'm, gu I'm guessing they're required now that they literally won't stop. They literally stop you for it. All you need is to not be dirty, I guess. God, I do. I couldn't you just clean yourself why does dirty even matter this paper 
A, your paper. B, like, you can, like, realistically do other stuff. Why can't you just clean yourself up with, like, towels like they're doing? Like these Koopas are doing. And see, how does that impact your cloud car performance at all? Spring of jungle mist. What? Is this an entire- is this like a dungeon or something? Okay, okay it looks like a natural spring. The Kuroke Forest. But it also looks like there's a dungeon behind it. Kuroke ah, Forest. Fuck. Never mind, this is an actual dungeon. What the fuck? You're gonna do a jungle adventure, Mello. Isn't that cool? Oh my god. Is that, is that a flying sniffet in the... I... I don't fucking trust Olivia when it comes to directions. Uh, I kinda also don't trust Olivia. I do think this Kamek is incompetent. But I also don't trust Olivia. Oh my god. What origami fucker. It's just my imagination. What or just come out. Just get it over with. I'm not I'm I'm not trusting Olivia with this. Something's moving in the background. Yeah, it's um, a piranha plant. Yeah. I'm I'm rusty game, it's kind of scary. It's okay, it's just it's just a mountain lion, we're fine. Oh no. Whatever will we do about this stupid fucking slide under it? Well, we're papered, just slide right under it. Bowser Jr., you guys can clearly fucking control your shape. You guys can clearly control your shape and move along under underneath stuff, like... They kinda Why can't. is anything an issue? It's, just, it's weird that they can't in this game. It's not... Yeah, I know it's heavy, but they could just, like, sneak around the side. Can the series explain why they can't just walk past with their pa with their thinness before doing all this bleep? I'm not asking for Mario to, like, be an airplane or be able to, like, roll around or do, like, ridiculous paper stuff. I'm not even asking him to, like, flutter down like paper. I'm just asking, why does his thinness not mean anything in this? Like, there are so many obstacles that could just be solved by you, like, going underneath it because you're so thin. Like, they do that exact joke in fucking Paper Jam, but here they don't. Yeah. I, I kind of get that for the others. It's kind of like, this is the real world, so now that he's paper in the real world, he has these powers. But there's still no real excuse for why can't... He just use how thin he actually is. It just doesn't make logical sense. It's not just it doesn't make logical sense, but enemies and stuff will use it. You think they? You think they intended for that just to be a, be a joke in and of itself? Hmm. I honestly no. It irritates me. I feel like me. it's just. I feel like it's just because it's hot. It's just the uh, what's the word? It's just the remainder of how the old games work, but without really the re any re the reason it worked. Because <sighs> the old games were just a storybook instead of trying to be a 3D paper world. I can't say effort didn't get put into like the level design, not maybe not level design, but yeah, just level like level design and how it looks. Yeah, because effort was put into the into like at least the visuals. Yeah. I just wish the rest of the game wasn't bad. If they ever been put into a lot of the modern Paper Mario series, it's just a weird direction. I just can't take much more of. We need to forge a direct. We need to forge a direction with Paper Mario without taking too much from the previous Paper Mario or anything that looks too much like the previous one. It's just getting tiring, and they're even getting rid of the stuff that I actually liked about Sticker Star in, like, its basic design for... 
I'm not trying to hold Stinger Star up as the greatest thing ever. I think it ultimately just reaches mediocre because it has decent ideas, but it executes it like crap. <sighs> but I'm saying even the potential that has feels like it's... Hey, Chain Chomp. Oh yeah, right. These were things in jungles and... Yeah, they were things in jungles, huh? Well, sorry, okay. jungles in like some of the old modern Paper Mario. So, pretty much. Sticker Star? Yeah, pretty much. Eh. Where's that one's resting out here? Sticker shit! It's some kind of hideous corruption of one of Lord Bowser's fiercest and most loyal minions. Bowser would love it. I'll order him if he wants a surprise. <laughs> Alright, we must certainly avoid this one. We'll be dashed to confetti instantly oh. if it bites us. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? what? They don't mean that thing's an instant kill, do they? Oh boy. Oh. Oh my god, they did do stuff like that. What yeah, that was a lot of. Yeah, that was Color Splash, alright. Color Splash had a lot of that. Actually, even Sticker Star had it. In the jungle level. So yeah, oh. it scares me. Had a giant fish that insta-killed you. Oh, there was a save space right there. I'm scared. Okay, so like... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, last time I saw something in the back. Ultimately, the way we're going is left because... We went from right, we went up, and then we have to go... Actually, no, I meant That's right. True. We have to go right to find the place. This, pla this path curves right, and I want to go this way because I still don't trust Olivia. I do feel like it won't be Kamek all the time. I don't know if I trust him, though. Is, is this gonna be... Is this gonna, like... Is this leading to something where Olivia, like, starts distrusting Mario now? Like, do these actually oh. act? These actions actually have consequences. That might be kind of interesting. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't! Oh my fucking god! Game over. Oh my god! Do, 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 done. Oh my yep. god! There were like fucking. I feel like this is. Bite sounds like. Oh wow, there was bite sounds? I gotta hear this later. It was, it was like the ultimate chimera in Mother 3. Like, you actually hear the sounds of something chewing on flesh. Like, what the fuck? Ouch. I feel like this is also a problem. The game is so, like, tempered down, it's hard to notice the color splat, the color splash style puzzles. Until they God come damn it. and completely throw you for a loop. Is this? I, um, oh. well, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, yeah, oh my go. God. Oh, I this one. What? God damn it. I do not like Olivia and Bowser Jr. will certainly get us killed. I feel like this will screw me up eventually. Okay, you're just a jump scare. Does that not no, kill us? No, no, no. Are we really doing this again? No. Okay, okay, we better find. Is there some place to hide? No. Okay, okay. Are we done? No more fake game over screens. Fuck you. It was only funny in the old games because you had, you actually said kept saying no to saving the world. Remember? Because it was actually they funny then. Because the game over screens weren't actually like punishing you from game. <laughs> Uh, uh, no one liked Color Splash's instant game overs. They were pretty much there to add artificial difficulty to the game, and everyone knew it. The one time I tried to deviate from everything. I also love that the ultimate answer is that pick whatever way Olivia doesn't pick. I feel like they put this in just so that Sticker Star onwards gets another chance to redo their jungle love. Oh, uh, where's the where's the Dorito? It's up there. We need to get the Dorito. Oh no, another save block. Uh. At best, it's a worse Super Mario RPG. Oh no, there's a chain chomp gonna come up from over there. And it's really trying to ape it. 
Oh no, is it gonna come out from that the bush? Or is it up? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. Uh, this isn't fun gameplay. At least there's no catch on Color Splash yet. Everyone runs away from the chain chomp. Haha. <laughs> hey, it was a big idea running away with that. You could have warned us at least. Chain chomp. Funny. What? Ah, uh, I I understand that's part of the joke, but. Uh, fucking jump. What? <laughs> I... Huh? huh? Oh, okay. I'm gonna kill those fucking toads. And you know that there's a man-eating monster in, on the path of this th the place? You do something about it. You guys... You guys have an actual path in here. <laughs> to this place. Hey. Like, how does anyone else get in this? Exactly. He just gotta go through a jungle adventure, Mom. Mellow. And then you have to make a really big leap on this vine here. You did it. Er, good. Now everyone gets their paint washed off and it becomes color splash again. Young master, your greens okay. are vibrant and your yellows are re and reds are radiant. Let's get a move on, shall we? I like this one. I'm gonna take another dip. Get your butt out of there. Young master, it's been long enough. We must get going. Get your butt out. Are you fucking kidding me? I knew about this before, like, when the game came out because this speech bubble here, it, it originally said, why are you white? <laughs> and I guess they realized why people were making fun of it and I... What? Why okay. take just the text out and just leave an empty speech bubble? Like, why not at least put a scream? Apparently that was part of the joke. I mean, they could have changed it to literally anything else. What happened to your color? Why are you blank? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why did they update the game just for that? I don't get it. We won't give the fans what they want, but we'll update the game just to take one line of dialogue out and replace it with nothing. That's what we'll do. I guess we have to change this anyway. Wait, we can make a we can make a white out joke. Hope we don't actually have to do anything about the snippets in the shop. Okay, so I mean, what was it? okay, so I kind of want to because they might have a new accessory, but no, oh, we okay. might not be able to afford it. I saw snippets are actually on top of the shop, so maybe you just need to find a way on top of it. Okay, it's just a diorama, I don't care. I guess he gets you a mushroom, but no accessories or whatever. Oh, legendary boots. Eh, that, that, seems, that ain't too bad. Yeah. Why can't you just let me choose the amount? <laughs> Why are we still doing this at this day and age? We're in modern day. You should be able to just choose whatever amount you're bought. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. Also, we're like almost at the end of the game, and we finally done that. You see, really goes to show how much you don't really need to go shopping. You see, we're not an RPG, so we don't have to include RPG quality of life. I would be happy if I'm wrong, but just get us our stupid VIP cards so we can reach the last spring. Very impeccable peanut. <laughs> What? For some reason. Okay. I was about to say, if that confetti was our reward, I would have been pissed. <laughs> that would be ungrateful, but we have all had to try pretty hard to visit all the hot springs. We almost got killed multiple times, and that's just a piece of paper? He <laughs> died twice. That's no pure, pure, pure piece of paper, man. That's a VIP pass to our most exclusive hot spring, the Spring of Rainbows. Our story affects the Spring of Rainbows okay. with a stuff of legend. 
Okay, um, we just do this to color in the boy. Yeah, yeah, I knew this was coming. Meaning if he just didn't take an extra bath, yes, he, he added didn't... game time. Yes, this guy has been a this guy has been a pain and literally detrimental to our quest the entire time up to this point. Uh... There was a reason I was like, I don't want to fall about Bowser Jr. anywhere. The guy has been worse than useless this entire time. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all?